Hello, I'm Fiona Livingston and welcome to this special Virtual Circle episode of The Culture Bar. In this series, we explore online streaming and digital content for classical music and the arts, thinking about what the future might look like, and also giving tips and insights into the digital space, and how it is developing for classical music, but also how you can access and interact with it at home. In this episode, we give you a practical guide to running a digital event, and the questions you should ask yourself before setting up such an event. Number one, why are you holding an online event? Think about your objectives. How is this event going to help you meet your goals and connect with your audience? Your why is the most important element to running a successful event, whether that's online or in a concert venue. Write out your objectives and goals and see what events you can run to meet these and engage with your audience. You might want to host an event to perform a concert, promote a new album, run an educational workshop, or even host a Q&A or talk show. Whatever your why is, make sure it is true to your values and what you stand for, and isn't just a fill-in because you are worried about losing presence or have a fear of missing out, FOMO. Number two, do your research. Research is important to finding your niche or a trend that inspires you. Do this by looking at what type of events other people are doing within your industry. Then you can broaden your research scope and see what other industries are creating and see if these can actually be adapted to suit your skills or content. There are some factors to bear in mind which may impact the quality of an event or your ability to deliver it. There are some factors to bear in mind which may impact the quality of an event or your ability to deliver it. Do they have a full production team? Is it filmed on a laptop? What software did they use? Was it sponsored? Don't forget that finding a balance between content you can produce that is meaningful to you and your audience is really important, but you also need to have the appropriate manpower and resources to make it happen. Number three, how will you engage with your audience? In a physical concert hall, we get an instant connection with the atmosphere in the room, which builds excitement and connects us to everyone else there. The challenge is to try and recreate some of this connection online. What techniques are you going to use to ensure that your audience stays hooked on your performance? Here are some techniques you can try. A chat function during the performance, a green room Q&A, special offers, audience shout outs. Number four, free or ticketed. This is a really important question to think about. You do not want to devalue your content or your personal brand by offering everything for free. Some small pieces of content for free are fine. For example, a teaser. But you should really consider charging a ticket price or asking for a donation for any long or complex content that you create to cover your costs. Number five, the tech. Finding the right platform is just as important as your content as it supports the content creation and experience you want to create. It is also important to consider usability, not only for you, but for your audience. This might be a concert platform such as Virtual Circle, YouTube Premiere or Instagram Live. To help you decide, you need to consider what the main tech features you think are important for your event. Here are the different types of functionality you should be thinking about in your platform selection. Tech support, free platform, audience interaction features, for example, a chat feed, bespoke ticketing, audience reach, global or local. Once you decide what functionality you are looking for, selecting the right platform will become much easier. Thank you. And to find out more about Virtual Circle, please visit the Harrison Parrot website and to read more of our blog articles. Thank you.